Hey everyone, welcome back to Baba Q&A. I'm your boy, and what are one And in this video, we are going to be looking at the question, should a Christian judge his neighbor? You know, there's this common idea in Christianity, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it, that we can't judge one another. And there's a text in the scriptures that everyone cites to prove that. Matthew chapter 7 verse 1. Yeah, that's the text. Judge not that ye be not judged. And I know that when you isolate that phrase, it seems pretty obvious, right? Don't judge, because if you do judge, then you'll be judged. But what if we look at what Christ said after? I mean, we should at least be curious to know what Christ said after, right? That way we can measure that idea with what Christ would have meant. Now, many of us are probably familiar with verse 1, so let's just continue from verse 2. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. You can see that Christ was not telling us to not judge. He was simply saying, don't be a hypocrite. You can't be guilty of the same offense you're judging someone of. If you study the Pharisees' behavior, you'll be able to see that they were very fond of doing this. They would judge people for not doing what God wanted. Whereas they themselves were the chairmen of iniquity at the time, according to John chapter 8, verse 44. They would say one thing and then do the opposite. That's why Christ said, All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Matthew chapter 23, verse 3. Of course, this is obviously bad, but neither is it good to not judge at all. You remember Eli, right? He had wicked sons. But the reason why God punished him was because he allowed them to be wicked instead of judging them for it. Read for Samuel chapter 3, verse 13, we'll see this. For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth, because his sons made themselves vile, and he restrained them not. That's what God said. If we're parents, for example, God will expect that we judge our children, because they need to be guided when they're young so that when they become adults, they can have the skills to serve him faithfully. King Solomon once said, Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. If we don't judge, then the foolishness that is bound at the heart of a child, as King Solomon put it, in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 15, will remain. And when they become adults, well, they won't be able to serve God well. The same goes for pastors with their flocks, according to 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 2 and 3, and really anyone who God has put under our care and spiritual guidance. In fact, it could even be friends, colleagues, or anyone who is not doing what's right. If we're doing what God wants and we see someone who is not, we should correct them for their benefit. Paul the Apostle, for example, rebuked Peter, a fellow apostle. If you read Galatians chapter 2, verses 11 to 14, because he yielded to his instincts, his Jewish instincts, by refusing to eat with the Gentiles, which of course contradicted their ministry. So if judging others was bad, why would Paul do it? Christ also judged the Pharisees in Matthew chapter 23, verses 13 to 39, and Luke chapter 19, verses 41 to 44. Christ himself, who made that judge not that ye be not judged statement, why didn't he lead by example, by refusing to judge them? So, guys, I think this is pretty straightforward. The Bible never said that we could not judge. Rather, we should make sure we are doing what is right so that we don't become hypocrites by judging others. Christ actually said we should judge, provided that our judgment is righteous. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. That is John chapter 7, verse 24. So, I think the question as to should a Christian judge his neighbor has been answered in this video. Yes, a Christian should judge his neighbor, provided that he is not doing so hypocritically. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when we come back with another video. Have a great day, and God bless you.